want to show you how to retrieve your jerk bait properly for peacock bass. Usually I tell people fast is better, but when I say fast, I mean fast twitches. Uh, you want it darting back and forth erratically and crazy, but you also, what's very important is the pause. If you're not adding that pause in after a few jerks, then you're not gonna get as many hits. Yeah, so this one, uh, I, was, I jerked it down a few times and jerked it up real fast, and he smashed it. Nice peacock bass. You don't want a proper cadence, per se. You want randomness. Sometimes I'll go one, two, three, burn it, pause it, two, two jerks, pause it, one, pause it, jerk, 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 jerk. Like it's just random craziness. So that's my uh, faster type retrieve that I'll do for them. Now, if they're a little more sluggish, and sometimes they get that way uh, during uh, extreme heat conditions, if it's really hot. They'll slow down uh, if it's really uh, cold for them. It'll they'll slow down and, and cold for peacock bass is could be uh, anything below 70. Really, uh, they die, they start dying once the temperature drops below 60 degrees. So any any major cold front down here in South Florida, um, I like to I'll still do that quick jerk, but then my pause is going to be two to three times longer. Like today, we have overcast cloudiness, um, a light drizzle. Top water would be excellent, but I'm showing you these jerk baits, so I'm gonna stay with them. So a faster retrieve is probably gonna be the ticket. We've got another pipe coming up. Got this one on the usual fast cadence or fast retrieve with the uh, pauses in between. Hit it pretty hard. Even though this isn't a giant, they fight hard. One modification I like to do is I'll add a bigger hook on the uh, middle of the jerk bait so that it will have a slow fall. This is a suspending. Uh, Mega Bass 110 Junior, but if you add a little bit heavier gauge hook to the middle of it, you can create a slower fall. And also, when you're jerking the bait, it won't come up and out of the water as easily if you get more aggressive with your retrieve. So that's a modification that I like to do. I actually have a piece of another hook. I don't know if you can see that hanging off of it. Uh, a guy got a hook in his hand two days ago and I had to cut the hook so that I could pull it out of his hand but uh, that actually adds a little extra weight as well so of course it's starting to rain but hopefully we can get enough footage to make this video happen Run it. 
to in South Florida. This might be a snook video today. I don't know. It might be a dog getting hooked video or a dog eating snook video. Either way, we're having fun. I guess my uh, peacock retrieve works well on the uh, snook. So, we'll let this one go. So the, one of the most important things with jerkbait fishing is your rod. This is a, a ducket rod, okay? It is six foot nine, medium heavy, but it has a nice flex to the tip of it. You don't want a real stiff rod, a real heavy rod, or you won't be able to work that bait properly. You won't give it the action that it needs. And plus, when you hook a fish with a heavier rod, the hooks will pull out. You want something that gives a, a nice cushion while you're fighting the fish and not too too hard of a set. Uh, I don't really like carbon rods for jerkbait fishing because a carbon is hard and I think it rips a bigger hole in the fish's mouth uh, which creates uh, space for the hooks to be thrown from when you're fighting that fish. So um, yeah, medium heavy rod with a nice, you know, pretty fast action tip but with some nice with some flex to it you know some give in it uh, as far as the reel goes I'm using a 3000 let's see what is this this is the uh, BG MQ 3000 D by Daiwa uh, very good reel uh, very good reel for this and I have 15 to 20 pound braid I'm using a 18 pound fluorocarbon leader now, I know that's kind of heavy but the peacock bass can pull you into the grass or into the rocks and fray up your line and break it. I've tried, uh, I started using eight in the beginning, then I bumped it up to 12, and then I remember breaking off a, like a seven and a half pound peacock. A, a client broke one off and he was using 12 pound test, so I was like, all right, I'm using 16. So it's 16 to 18 for me for the fluorocarbon leaders. The fish don't seem to mind. Uh, they hit it just as well. And uh, yeah hope all this information helps you with your jerkbait fishing. Another retrieve that I like a lot, if you're not getting a great uh, action out of the bait with uh, jerking it, some people have trouble with that, uh, is reeling it really fast and then pausing it. Reel it real fast and then pause it. peacock bass. This is a quarter ounce I believe. Peacock bass on a jig, not a very big one, but it's a start. Okay. I saw that fish on Pan Optics. There's about 15 or 20 of them right here. When I get the the bait close to the boat I give it a series of fast quick twitches to try to get that last minute reaction strike before the the lure comes out of the water
another important thing is when the bait hits the water is to get it moving immediately if you throw it in let it sit there flip your bail fiddle with your line and then jerk it a lot of times you're not going to get any of these peacock bass now you might catch a large mouth with that type of presentation but these fish like it fast so you hit the water and you start it going immediately oh, another beauty I got a tarpon, a snook, and a peacock bass so far. Pretty cool. Did cheat on this one, caught this on a shiner. That was the usual fast cadence with those pauses in between. Found the football for the neighbor. Best catches of the day. Flawless. So my neighbor's kid likes it when I bring balls to his house. And every time I go out, I seem to find one. So he's probably got 16 different types of balls. So he's probably got, I know he's got a kickball, a soccer ball, uh, some baseballs, and now he's got a football. like so. Come back. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm going to just turn it. Pops the hook right out. Why are you trying to eat my fish? Huh? Why are you trying to eat my fish? snakehead. It's only the second one of these I've ever caught. I can't remember the name of it. But it's not a snakehead because 
the fin is separated on the top and the fin on the bottom doesn't go all the way across but interesting fish it's got teeth not much but like I don't know if you can see that but little bristles in its mouth nope can't have that one either